Uh, I want to talk to you today uh, about the exit. We see these a lot in life. It's one of these days when you're going to go and you're not coming back again. And I want to talk about being ready, uh, okay? Now, all of us have to make peace with, all of us have to make peace with God. Uh, we have to make peace with the Creator uh, because we're sinners. And uh, there's this day that when we have to leave life and we don't want to die with uh, our sin covering us. And now, there are the, some of the Jewish people, they will say, may my death make atonement for my sins. But you know what? You're dying, okay? You, we're all going to die because, we're, because of uh, the taint of sin. We were, you know, Adam and Eve were warned, you know, don't eat the fruit or you'll die. So therefore, you know, death pants upon all for all of sin. And I just want to talk to you about who's going to, who's going to help you to reach that exit. You know, there was one day when I, I had turned to God and then I had to realize that the only way to reach out to God was through Yeshua. And I hope that you Jewish people would wake up today. I pray to wake up and realize that you have to, to uh, reach out to God through Yeshua. There's only one plan of salvation that was ever made for all of us, and it was the seed of the woman, the virgin-born Messiah. That uh, when some one of his followers said, show us the Father, and he said, no man comes to the Father but through him. He said that he is the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes to the Father but by him. You have to follow Yeshua. And what does that mean? You know, in this day and uh, time, when you follow Yeshua, you live as he lived. You follow what he says. He says, if you love me, you will obey my commands. And also he said to a, a, a rabbi who came to him, who he recognized who Yeshua was, a teacher came from God, but he had to realize more. This teacher had to realize that except a man be born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. He said, uh, told him that, you know, that God had so loved the world uh, that he sent this Ben Yahid, his only son, that whosoever believes in him should be would be saved if you believe in the Messiah. If you reach out to God through this through the Messiah, through Yeshua, you will be saved. He put more out, he said, uh, we look back when uh, Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness when the people complained and they were bitten by poisonous snakes and those who looked at that serpent on a pole were healed, were, were saved. And now he said that, pointed that, he said, as Moses lifted up the serpent in the wilderness, so must the Son of Man be lifted up. And he said that uh, he, uh, if he would be lifted up from the earth, he would draw all men to himself. And he was lifted up from the earth and he hung between heaven and earth hung between God and man and he said father forgive them for they know not what they do forgive those who had uh, put him to death and now forgive all of us who sinned against him who offended a holy and righteous God to save us all uh, from the beginning to the end from the wrath of almighty God and one of the, the leaders of the early Kehilat he said that there is one God and one mediator between God and man, and that is the man, Yeshua HaMashiach, the one who he said hung between heaven and earth, who mediated us for, on the tree in order that all, none of us would, would ever see the wrath of God. And today he calls, uh, calls on every one of us. He calls upon you, he calls upon me to reach out through, through Yeshua, through the Messiah. Uh, if you want to come to, you want to go to heaven, you want to be right with God, then you have to come to Yeshua. You have to realize that he is the Messiah, that he is the, the, uh, the uh, virgin-born seed of the woman who, uh, who uh, bruised the head of the serpent, who defeated the devil once and for all, and now has opened the way uh, for all of man, he said, to preach the, uh, the word to every creature, uh, teach him to obey whatever he's commanded. Uh, once, uh, you know, the veil was torn, that the way between God and man was no longer closed off, but now we can all have fellowship with God. All of us could reach out to God. And I call upon you today, don't hide behind your Jewishness. Don't think that's going to cover it because it won't. Because Yeshua was also Jewish. And the only you have to reach out to God through him. So I implore you today, Make your peace with God through Yeshua the Messiah. Amen.